welcome back to uh, Got Wire. I'm kind of leaning down here so I can get my face in frame. Uh, today, I'm going to be uh, replacing this. Uh, I ran this kind of fiber at my crawl space and I damaged it running other wires. You can actually see the bare fiber. Um, I'll show you here later in the video. Uh, but I'm going to take this faceplate off and run some of this uh, Focus on Fiber Outfit cable that I bought. It's an uh, outdoor rated uh, armored multi-mode fiber. Uh, that's what the end looks like. You can change it, but or you know, change the fibers if you want to swap them on either end. Um, I'm gonna run some of this armored cable in my crawl space, and I just bought this on Amazon. And what what I have this connected to is a MicroTik switch, a uh, cheap little MicroTik switch, and it's actually still working even though I damaged it. Um, I'm surprised it's even working. Um, but I have a SFP to a ethernet adapter or SFT plus to ethernet adapter for my laptop up here. And then this right here is what powers the switch. I lost the power cable for it. So I just use uh, PoE to power it because you can power it with this PoE port. Um, but this is the feed coming in right here. And I'm gonna take this faceplate off and tie this uh, armored cable to the old cable. And I'll show you uh, how I ran it in my crawl space. I'll take you guys with me down my crawl space. And I'll show you where I damaged the, the cable. Uh, in hindsight, this probably isn't the greatest cable to run in your crawl space. Uh, if you guys ever do it, I'd definitely buy the armored cable. It wasn't that much more expensive than just this regular multi-mode fiber. Uh, but I'll take this jack off and I'll show you uh, me tying this to the existing fiber. try to get down here so you can see me uh, as you can see this is just what I ran uh, this is just uh, a wall plate with a fiber coupler in it I bought it off Amazon uh, you can buy these fiber couplers pretty cheap um, but I am gonna be cutting this head off and tying this armored cable onto this cable and I'm gonna go in my crawl space and pull it down but I bought too much of this so I have a crap ton of slack in the uh, in this crawl in this uh, cavity here, so I'm gonna pull all the slack and tie onto here. As you can see, all this damn slack, I just had it shoved in the wall. <laughs> In hindsight, it's probably better that I'm running this arbor, armored cable um, because uh, I didn't buy nearly buy as uh, long a cable. I probably got about a hundred foot shoved up inside the wall here. But I'm gonna be throwing all this away because, like I said, um, I damaged the cable in the crawl space, so that's why I'm just throwing it around. You should never. Uh, you know, do that with fiber. <laughs> all right. Yeah, as you can see, I had all that in the, <laughs> in the damn wall cavity here. And uh, if you don't have yourself a pair of these, these are uh, Gennard, uh snips they'll cut through anything they'll cut through copper coax they're pretty good scissors i'll link them in the description and just cut through that fiber in like two seconds not the fiber is that hard to cut through but now i'm just going to be tying it on to here and i'll show you the other end of this in the crawl space i had to drill a if you ever do this in your house you have to drill a pretty big hole to get that through the the what do you call it? Bottom plate. <clears throat> Words are hard. But I'm just going to tie this on here and use it kind of like a pull string. Um, but the hole that I drilled, it's so big, I, uh, I fill it with uh, silicone. Alright, I got that taped on. And I'm going to shove this in the hole. I'm going to uh, uncoil all this on the floor. And I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like here in my crawl space here in a couple minutes. Right, well, uh, here I am in my crawl space. You can tell it's not very uh, fun down here. This insulation sucks. It gets all over everything. 
you definitely don't want to touch it with your hands. I put my uh, hand inside my sleeve and use it to move the insulation because the stuff will get you itchy as hell. Uh, but here's the fiber I ran and I got silicone on it. But I'm going to pull on it, see, break through the silicone and see if I can get my other fiber cable through. I'm going to have to Yep, there she, there she is. There's a lot of silicone I had to break through. But that's what I tied on uh, upstairs. And I just gotta pull it over to the other side and uh, I'll go on to the other side and show you where I damaged this cable. Well, this is what I uh, currently look like. I'm here in this uh, cubby here and I'll show you uh, this damaged fiber here. Um, but also too, I uh, shoved the fiber in here from the crawl space and I'll show you that it just popped right up in here I don't even have to reach down there But there's the fiber that I shoved up from the crawl space The armored fiber and there's a little hole down there that the ductwork runs through and I run all my cables through here as you can see um, But let me turn on my headlamp and I'll show you That right there if my stupid camera will focus. Uh, that's what I did. I damaged the fiber. And I also damaged it right there. If my stupid camera will focus on it. But I didn't want to leave it like that. You can, I mean you can see the Kevlar. I don't think it got into the fiber. But I went ahead and uh, ran this armored fiber cable. But I was running these big fat Cat 6A cables. And when I did that, they got tangled up with this, and I yanked on it too hard, and it broke it. But I run it up through these little pipe clamps. It's probably not the best thing for wires, but I run it up and over, and then up to my attic where my uh, bedroom's at. And I'll show you what it looks like up there here in a minute. Oh, also, uh, if you don't have... A good pocket knife make sure you carry a good pocket knife on you uh, this is what I had with me in the crawl space the hole that that existing fiber went through was too small for uh, for this because I ran other cables so I just took my uh, pocket knife and I cut it there in the crawl space so always make sure you get a good uh, pocket knife on you all right I'm uh, up here I got the cable up here uh, I'm up here in my attic I'm just right above where the cables here I got I'm standing on a piece of board here and this is the fiber cable and then all i have to do is i get a work box cut out right there um and the drywall and that leads to where i got all my switches and uh my 10 gig switch i'm gonna plug this into so i'm just gonna shiver through the hole here and put the insulation back and then uh, when i get up in my master bedroom i'll uh, show replacing that uh or hooking it into the existing faceplate. i got the cable here um, I'm just going to undo all this electrical tape that I did to uh, tie the two wires together. And then uh, here's my faceplate, just another, you know, regular uh, single gang faceplate from Lowe's. And you can buy these fiber couplers on Amazon. And I'm just going to plug it into here. Uh, this is, it says Unraid on here, but this is my uh, PF Sense router. Uh, I got another box for Unraid. This used to be my Unraid build. Uh, and then in other videos, I show my PF Sense. I got fiber plugged into it too with SFP plus uh, connectors using multi-mode fiber but I'll uh, get this unwrapped here and plug it in and uh, screw it back to the wall here another thing too um, the one clicks you always want to make sure you uh, one click the ends because even from the factory they can be dirty so I always just take a, um, a one click here I give it about two clicks technically all they say you need is one but and you want to do that to each individual fiber here and then just plug it into your faceplate All right, and that's that. Um, I'm not gonna show the one downstairs because it's just the same process as this one up here. 
Um, but yeah, I'll get on my uh, PC next and show you uh, that it's working and maybe show you the speeds depending on how quick it is. All right, I got it all hooked up as you can see here in the bottom right. I got internet access. Uh, let me turn off the stupid Wi-Fi just to make sure it's not all right. Wi-Fi is already off. But uh, I got internet access. I'm hardwired. Um, I have an adapter, a USB-C to a 5 gig adapter. But the adapter seems like it only wants to run at like 2.5 gig. Um, but, I mean, that's better than one, you know, a regular Ethernet cable. I have a Sabrinth uh, 10 gig uh, Ethernet to uh, Thunderbolt. But this laptop doesn't have Thunderbolt. So this is just sitting here not in use right now. Uh, but anyways, this is my Unraid build. Uh, I'm going to run a uh, speed test using all those. Using um, speed test, uh, running a Docker container here on my Unraid build. And I use MB instead of Plex. I was having problems with Plex on Unraid the Docker. But anyways, we'll run, uh, this is one that I ran here. Uh, speed test after I got the fiber hooked up. But I'll go ahead and run another. Um, like I said, I think this, the reason why I'm not seeing very fast speeds is my adapter I'm using. I'm using a Sabrent, uh 5 gig uh, adapter, and I have a uh, SFP Plus to uh, Ethernet uh, SFP and that Microtech switch that I'm plugged into. So I don't know if it's the SFP Plus uh, that is the bottleneck or if it's the adapter. Most likely it's the stupid adapter because I got 10 gig going to the Microtech switch uh, underneath this laptop. A 10 gig connection. But that's what I got 1603 on the download and 1296 on the upload. I mean, it's still faster than a gigabit Ethernet cable, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I could do some more tweaking and see if I could get it faster, but I think it's just this stupid uh, network adapter that I got here, this Sabrinth. 5 gig. It has 5 gig, and then it goes to USB-C, but I think it's just this that's fucked up, so I might have to buy me another one of these or return this one. But anyways, uh, I'm fixing to, uh, my next video is going to be a um, TrueNAS scale build. Uh, I have Unraid, and I want to do a TrueNAS scale build to compare the two. Um, to see how quick they are, uh, to see how quick Unraid is versus TrueNAS scale. Um, but Go ahead and like and subscribe so you can uh, get notifications when I put out the uh, video for that TrueNAS scale. Um, and I hope you like the video.